what's going on you guys it's your girl fifi dominique and i am back once again with another video today is a very special day because your girl is nine months pregnant i am officially nine months pregnant today 36 weeks yes baby boy is doing very good inside here although baby boy is very very low and he's acting like he's trying to come any day but baby boy gotta wait for his daddy to come first before he makes an arrival to this world but anyways i'm on the road with my baby girl That's better. That's that's so much better. Thank you. So we are hitting the road. We got some things we gotta take care of. Uh, first, we're gonna go get some food. Baby girl wants some Subway. I have no idea what I want to eat yet, but I'm gonna figure it out on the way. I gotta go to Best Buy because I need to get an extra memory card for this camera, as well as a like a smaller tripod for this camera because I do plan on recording my labor and delivery so i need to make sure that i have all the right equipment everything set up and ready to go for that and then later on i'm actually going to show you guys what's in my hospital bag and my baby diaper bag for the hospital because your girl is ready to go we, we ready to go so Janae wants to show you guys my window because these birds like the birds destroyed my look, windows. Look, 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 look. Look what them birds have added. Look. Look what the birds did. Look at the birds. Look at the poop. I've been trying to get a car wash today, and it looks like I have no choice but to get a car wash today. Like, this is going to be totally fun, so make sure to hit that subscribe button on my mommy's channel. And make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you, baby. I actually forgot to say all of that. And hit the bell. Ring, ding, ding, ding. Yes. All of that. All of that. Changed her mind. I want Popeyes. She wanted Popeyes. And I want Popeyes, so. Can yeah, I play for her for 20 hours? No, no, no. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Janae's food's already ready. She got, what you got? I got drumstick chicken. Mm hmm. I got french fries. And I got my sprites. Yeah, and I ordered their new ghost pepper wings with and mashed potatoes. And you ordered her. They're sweet, so no, I didn't order it. Well, my mom said it looked good. Let me show you what she's talking about because I had to hold myself back and not order it. This right here, I really wanted to order that, but I'm like, let me not. Let me, you know what I'm saying. So I gotta wait 10 minutes for my food, so today is gonna eat until mine is ready. I eat that on the chicken. Now I'm getting nothing stuck in the throat. Mm. I didn't make that sound. You like biscuits? No, I tried that and I'm like, no, I don't like biscuits. I don't think it really looks butter. Ah! Oh my god. I'm about to dive in. I felt the crab coming from my bones. So, Best Buy didn't really have what I needed or wanted. So, my mommy got mad. So, I'm a little upset. The people in there didn't really, they were not helpful at all. But then again, the shelves are like 
empty too. They didn't really have much of a selection, so. She got super angry that they didn't have the stuff she wanted. Braxton Hicks. So clearly, she didn't like, you know, all, all of them situations. And all I, I have... I have been feeling Braxton Hicks for like the past week now, like literally every day. Because you're pregnant. That's what happens when you're pregnant. I don't even remember having Braxton Hicks when I had Jade when I was pregnant with Jade. Like, this is crazy. But you know what they say, every pregnancy is different. <laughs> I think I might just check Amazon, see what I could get get on Amazon. Or I'm thinking that maybe I could just get away with this tripod that I have right now. I was looking for one of those like tall ones though. Ones that go really tall. This one's just like a handheld one. Tripod. Um, I wanted to get like a tall stick one. An easy to carry one that could shrink down to tiny size. If you guys have any suggestions, please comment down below. Let me know like some more compatible tripod sticks. Lightweight for a camera a universal one actually so one for a camera and phone let me know down below please now we're just gonna go to the grocery store we're gonna go home and then i'm gonna, and then she's gonna show you guys what's in my hospital bag and then she's gonna cook some lasagna when we get home yeah i'm gonna make some lasagna special request from Jadea. princess daya but my real name is Jadea, guys so probably you should know that Probably should know her real name. Yeah, her name is my name. Jadea. My real name is Jadea. My last name is Kwame. So, and then Nala, and then just Senya. And then when you put it all together, um, Jadea, Nala, just Senya, Kwame. Yeah, I will catch you guys back when I make it back home, and it's time to um, show you guys what's in my hospital bag and baby diaper bag. to go through can't even see my hair um i'm about to go through my hospital bag as well as the baby's bag so let me go through mine first let me just show you guys what it looks like right now real quick that's what it's looking like right now i'm just gonna go through everything and show you guys what we got in there yesterday yeah Go get the napkin, and then you also need to take a bath. I sent you a message. All right. So first things first. Um, I'm gonna start from the top. So I got a water bottle here, which is gonna be crucial because you know, gonna be thirsty. Okay. Then we got my flip flops for the shower because ain't nobody trying to put their feet on the hospital floor. And we got my deodorant. And then this pack I actually found in Walmart. And it literally has like everything that you need 
for the shower. So shower gel, hold on. So it comes with uh, shampoo, conditioner, which I'm probably not gonna use because my hair is gonna be in full locks. Um, it comes with body wash, a vino body wash. It's pretty dope. And it comes with a vino lotion. It comes with a razor, which I won't be using. Hand sanitizer. Toothbrush. Toothpaste. We even got some Listerine strips in here too. Actually, no, they're Listerine tablets. That's dope, never seen that before. Cause you know, I'm probably gonna be starving, break, probably gonna be hot. Cause you know, once you get started, you can't eat until you're done. And then also a bar of soap. So pretty much everything that I'm gonna need for after I have the baby and I need to shower and you know, freshen up, got that. Now for the postpartum, I have, I packed one, two, three, I packed six um, nipple pads or breast pads or whatever for if or when I'm leaking milk. I also picked up this um, lanolin nipple cream. So this is for like dry, cracked, sore nipples. You know, when the baby going, going in. And I was contemplating about getting the Depends diapers over pads. I never tried that before and I was seeing a lot of people like trying it out. But I was like, I don't know how I feel about wearing diapers. So I just ended up getting the overnight pads, which how much do I have? I got six in here, which I hope should be enough and I know usually usually the hospital does give you like things that you're gonna need for postpartum like the mesh underwear with the pads and everything but I'm just bringing just in case because you know since COVID they've been stopping a lot of things I know in the hospitals so I'm just making sure that I'm well prepared just in case and then I also picked up this Freedom Mom Perry bottle which is pretty dope it's an upside down Perry bottle let me see if I can take it out. This is something new. I've never seen this before. Especially my first time around with Judea. Like I had the regular Perry bottle. But this one apparently is supposed to um, make it more cleaner. So you don't have to like stick your whole hand in the toilet when you're trying to wash up. So pretty much it's just upside down. You put that part there and you just squirt and you're good to go. So you don't have to put your whole hand underneath to wash. And then, last thing for my postpartum, I have these Freedom Mom ice maxi pads. So these are like ice pack pads to wear in your underwear. Shout out to my girl, Daniela for hooking me up with these. I got two. And also an alternative to this, because I think they get cold. Yeah, these are like, they cool. Yeah, they're cooling or whatever. So an alternative to this that I've seen is that people are actually um, like putting witch hazel on pads and then putting it in the freezer and then using that and because witch hazel also is very effective for you know pain sores and the healing down there for after so if you guys don't got these try that method out and then oh i also got these slippers to wear in the hospital so that i'm not walking around barefoot or in my socks I got that. And then I got a heat pack because you know once your uterus starts shrinking back to size, them cramps are a pain. Like it's like 
menchies like you're on your period all over again so heat pack definitely a necessity um i got pajamas how much pajamas i got i got two pairs of pajamas in here which i picked up from walmart and i'm hoping that they fit by the time i'm ready to deliver i got a size large in that and some shorts hopefully it's not cold in the hospital because i got two sets with shorts this one's a medium i don't know why i got one medium one large don't ask so i got two pajamas i packed one two three four underwears just in case i'm really i'm really not planning to stay in the hospital more than one night so i don't know why i'm bringing so much underwear but i'm just you know what i'm saying i'm just just prepping just in case and then i packed this for my outfit to go back home because you know i'm trying to be comfortable i'm not trying to be restricted and whatnot so some loose pants and this loose cardigan thingy and i also made sure that all of my tops have buttons at the front because i do intend on breastfeeding and i want to make sure that you know easily accessible to feed my baby got that then i got i put two nursing bras in here one black one peach pinkish got these off of amazon and pretty much it has like the clip right there so that when you're ready to feed you just pop it open pull it down and you're good to go when you're done bring it back up clip it and you're good so yeah pretty dope I actually got a pack of three, but I only decided to bring two just in case. Lastly, I got my towel in here and a loofah. I think that's what they're called. And yeah, I'm contemplating bringing some makeup just in case I feel like, you know, I'm looking kind of rough and I want to look kind of cute. But obviously, I'm not going to put that in the bag yet because I don't need to yet. It's not time. And I think that is it for my bag. And then I also intend on bringing my camera, charger, and this little tripod stick that it's on right now. And yeah, that's about it. For me now on to the baby's bag oh this is the baby's bag it's like a backpack style got it off of amazon if anybody's interested i will leave the links down below and so pretty much i had signed up for some free samples for pampers and they sent me like this wipes and pack of like 10 newborn diapers so I just decided to bring that and the 10 diapers so I have 10 diapers in here um got a blanket to cover the car seat on the way back on the way home I got one two two receiving blankets I got one burp cloth. What do I got in here? I got some Vaseline. And then I think I packed like two outfits for him in here. So I packed one sleeper with this little onesie and then this other sleeper with this onesie 
which that, that doesn't really match, but it's all okay. good. All right. That's just in case. You know what I'm saying? Just in case. And then this is the outfit that I wanted to bring home in. It's a cute little Mickey Mouse outfit. With a sleeper. And it also comes with a matching bib. And hat. And some mitts so he doesn't scratch his face and then I also have an extra hat in here I guess for one of the onesies that I had packed one of the outfits and some socks and yeah that is actually no I lied I lied I so lied so <laughs> this was the outfit that I actually wanted to bring him home in but I actually changed my mind because I seen, I think it was on the Nike website or whatever they had. No, it was on Bye Bye Baby. They have this onesie that says, I have arrived. So I'm actually going to put that on him to come home in. And then he's going to wear this jumper over it. Yeah. So I have to swap that out. I totally forgot. And then lastly, I have this blanket, which I'm going to use to swaddle him. It's like a, a stretchy receiving blanket. And I'm also going to pack his pacifier in here as well. But I still need to sterilize that, so it's not in the bag yet. And that is about it for the baby. I mean, also, I do believe... The hospital does give you things for the baby as well, like diapers and wipes, if necessary, and the blankets and whatnot. But I am just bringing stuff just in case, because you never know. But yeah, that's pretty much it for my hospital bags. Again, I am nine months pregnant today. I have exactly four weeks to go. Let me just show you what the belly's looking like. This is what belly's looking like. I feel like baby's probably gonna come before four weeks because like he's like super duper 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 low. But again. I keep talking to the baby boy and telling him, listen, you gotta wait for your dad, because if you come before your dad come, somebody gonna be mad. So, hopefully baby boy listens and, you know, he just holds off for another week and a half or so. And we'll be good to go. So, I probably, I'm probably gonna um, keep all of these outfits in here. Just because if he doesn't wear them, that's fine. I already washed them and everything, so it's all good. But yeah, I'm out of breath. Why? What did I do? What did I do to be out of breath right now? All right, guys, so that is about it. All right, guys, so if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to this channel right now. Also, be sure to turn your post notifications on so you never miss a video. Also, don't forget to like this video right now and leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys want to see me do next. Um, I also actually have a lot of ideas of videos coming out, so there's going to be a lot of videos coming out back to back because I have a lot of videos to do before this baby comes. So stay tuned for that and yeah thank you guys for watching peace